If you've ever tried to explain yourself to an individual who is hell-bent on not understanding you, then you know that it is a futile, a worthless effort to try to explain yourself to anybody in the first place. Now, this is a lesson that took me far too long to truly come to grips with and to truly understand the importance of, but it was also something that gave me one of the deepest senses of freedom that I had ever experienced in the entirety of my life, to be honest with you. The moment that I accepted that I did not have to have somebody else understand me, that I didn't have to have somebody else get what I was saying or take what I was saying and value the things that I was saying or even just not to try argue with me about every single point. When I realized that I didn't have to explain myself to everybody, there was freedom that came with that. And along with that came an understanding that I did not have to prove my worth to anybody. There was nobody that I had to validate who I was to. Because for a majority of my young life, I spent that time, I spent that energy, I spent that life force trying to have those around me validate my very own existence. The people around me validate my own worthiness. I needed you to approve of me. I needed you to accept me in order for me to feel as if I was worthy of living. And I know that sounds wild, but for anybody who's found themselves in this space, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you become a chameleon to life, you become a chameleon to every situation and circumstance being anything that everybody or anybody needs you to be just so you can be accepted in that moment. If you needed me to be a thug, I'll be a thug. You need me be a nerd, I'll be a nerd. I, I would be whatever you needed me to be just so you can mirror back to me that I was worthy, that I was enough, that I was acceptable. And I'm not going to get too deep into this right now, but a lot of that came from my childhood programming. A lot of that came from, you know, a fundamentalist upbringing where I was taught to believe that, you know, I was not worthy, that I was a broken person, I was a fallen person, that I was not enough, that, you know, in order for me to be valid, I needed to go outside of myself. In order for me to be worthy, I needed to go externally and seek something other than what was already within me. And just imagine that type of programming, that type of conditioning, that type of trauma in the mind of a child, a child who's innocent, beautiful, pure, and full and whole within themselves to be told time and time again, you ain't worthy until you go out there and you find this and you accept this and you take this idea and you take that and you implement those things. Once you start doing this list of things, then you will be worthy of your own existence. And so, of course... I spent years of my life seeking the validation, the approval, and the acceptance of others. Of course, I was going out into life needing people to understand me and even arguing my points down just so somebody could get what I was saying. And it's ironic because, you know, my calling, my, my, my purpose, my passion is speaking into other individuals' lives. However, I no longer do it from a place of bondage. I no longer do it from a place of needing you to understand me. Like I look at my comment section now and back in the day, at least I used to look at my comment section. And I think to myself, man, these people just don't understand what I'm trying to say. Like, that's not what I mean. That's not what I did. But then I also come to accept that it doesn't matter how many points I make. It doesn't matter how many facts I use. It doesn't matter what I say and how compelling it truly is, there are some people who are going to be hell-bent on not understanding me. And that is okay because those individuals have their own perception of life. They have their own wounds. They have their own traumas. They have the their own life experiences that they're working out. And there was a certain point in time when I was in the very shoes of those individuals and when I start to look at them, I realize these aren't enemies or, you know, sometimes I might think, oh, they're trolling, but it's like, they're not all necessarily trolls. Like not everybody is a hater in my life. Some of these are just wounded, hurt people who are looking to inflict that very same hurt upon others. And those who look to invalidate my worth and go out of their way to do such, they are ones who feel no sense of value within themselves. The ones who try to change me and tell me that my uh, belief systems, ideologies are off and skewed and I'm wrong and I'm doing. this is what's going to happen to me and that's going to happen to me. 
I've come to realize that it's not my job to prove myself to those people, to have those individuals understand me, right? To have them know that what I'm saying is actually not what they're thinking. That's not my job. I free myself from that completely. My only job is to speak truth right here in this very moment. And whoever receives it, cool. Whoever does not, cool. At the end of the day, did I receive that truth? That's what matters most. And, you know, especially for a lot of my my fellow teachers out there. And I don't mean by trade. I don't mean like you're necessarily um, a teacher by title, right? I mean individuals who love to speak into other people's lives and always feel called to speak to others. I know a lot of y'all watching are those type of individuals, right? When you're somebody who feels compelled to help others and to be uh, an uplifter and things of that nature, you sometimes feel this obligation to have people understand. You sometimes feel an obligation to have people get what you're saying for their best benefit. But what we sometimes miss is that a person is on their individual journey and they're going to get what they get when they get it. And if they don't get it and if they are helping on not getting it, perfect. That's up to them. That's their own choice. Everybody has their own. You do you, I do me. But at the end of the day, we are the ones who are to receive the messages that we're putting out. We are the ones who are truly called to the messages we're speaking on. No, nobody needs the message that I teach more than myself. Nobody needs this message that I have received, that I am imputing onto you than myself. Therefore, I have to ask myself, am I living by these words that I'm speaking? And if I am, then I will find that there is no need for anybody else to understand it or understand it or, you know, have myself be validated through others agreeing with me and giving me a thumbs up and giving me a like and telling me that I'm on the right direction and I'm, you know, saying the right things. Like that's a beautiful thing. That's cool. That's icing on a cake, but it is not the main course. The main course is, do I accept of myself? Do I validate myself? Do I see and seek the worth within myself? Do I accept myself and my understanding of myself? That is the core. That is what you should be aspiring towards in every and any situation. If others are not understanding you, are you understanding you? If others are not validating you, are you validating you? If others are not appreciating you, are you appreciating you? And when you can answer that with a boldness, with a certainty, when you can say yes to every single one of those, then you're living in freedom because you no longer put that burden upon others, but instead take that responsibility unto yourself. And when you take the responsibility unto yourself, there is peace, there is freedom, You are no longer in the shackles of somebody else having to see you, having to accept you, having to have you change your ways in order for them to view you as acceptable in their own world. You free yourself from those shackles and you truly start to live.